BRR has been in the grocery business so long, grocery architecture business, helping out so many different national clients that millions of people every day use our stores. Millions of people go into our buildings. Millions of people have those experiences inside of the buildings that we have a hand in creating. It would have to be uh, a Walmart Supercenter in Highland Village, Texas. It was a unique site, which allowed us to do some unique things on the exterior, but it also gave us the opportunity to rethink what the grocery experience could be within a big box store. You know, grocery stores used to be, you just have a bakery, you have a deli, you have a meat department. Over the years, it's completely transitioned into an experience. You have a lot of different unique departments within each department and also throughout the store. And so for a super center to have individual departments like an olive bar and a specialty cheese island uh, really, really was unique to what you typically would find in a super center setting and really showed that you could have a more unique uh, specialty grocery experience within a big box store. So we helped bring to light the, the things that they're going to have to account for in the building that are part of a grocery store that aren't part of any other retailer. They need to have space for our refrigeration, for our mechanical units, for delivery from both large trucks and small, grease interceptors, all kinds of engineering type items that need to be accounted for in the design. How the customer shops has changed over the years where grocery used to be really just a commodity that you had to do, and now it's become more experiential. They're looking at convenience, they're looking at service, they're looking at the products offered, they're looking at how comfortable is your store, is it easy to physically get in and out of. So there's a lot of conveniences and comfort systems that our clients are building into their stores to make it a more pleasant experience. I think there's two camps of customers. There's the customer that's going to order remotely and pick up outside the store and never go in for, you know, you know ever. And then there's this, the customer that wants to go in, maybe get a coffee or a wine, walk around, be offered some ideas on what they might make for dinner that's a little different. In different locations across the country, you have people who are riding their bikes to the grocery store or they're walking to the grocery store. Um, completely different shopper than the shopper that's out in the suburbs with five or six kids and they're buying whole cars full at once. Hands down the most pivotal moment in grocery design you have to say it's the way COVID affected grocery stores. Prior to COVID, they wanted everybody to experience the store. They want you to touch everything, grab product and put it in. They want you to touch screens and so on. And after the pandemic, everything becomes, how do you still get that experience? But, oh, we don't want you to touch anything. I'd like to say we have an impact on it all. Um, we'll take whatever idea they want to explore and help them explore that. Architects like to think of themselves as problem solvers. So that's what we love to do is to, to help the client achieve their goals. From energy to, again, the, the shop online pickup at store or online delivery, we've been a part of all of that. And every year something new comes along and, and our clients challenge us with, with how we can support them and help them implement these new ideas. You know, there's all kinds of, of concepts that could happen. Um, delivery systems that are, are continuing to be test it out. Net zero and how can a store have a, a really low carbon footprint, which is tough for grocery because of the refrigeration energy demands that, that we have to have to keep product at, at, at safe temperatures. Things like continuous insulation and, and LED lighting and then looking at solar and other ways to produce uh, electricity on site. So net zero is going to be a big a game changer. Maybe you go to a box and, and use a code and get your groceries out. COVID has shown us that the world can change on a dime and we have to be able to respond.